I am in six inches of water right now. Fish on. Here we go, baby. It's trout time. First fish of the day. Little trout. Good little trout. Not bad. And he, woo, he wanted that jerk shad. Get my hands wet here. All right, little guy. Beautiful trout, man. Look at the colors on that guy. Wow. Thanks for the catch, buddy. All right. Just had a hit. There he is. There he is. There we go. Fish on. Another trout. Another trout ski. Big old trout, man. Man, gorgeous trout. <laughs> All right. Hey, Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. I've been out here two hours, you guys. Finally started getting on some fish here. Yeah. All right, so I'm out in my Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120, 45 pound thrust electric Mancota trolling motor with spot leg talk, spot leg. <laughs> <laughs> spot lock technology yeah sometimes i get tongue twisted anyway it's a beautiful morning i was really discouraged there i wasn't catching any fish came out here on the flats it's a lot clearer water out here and uh, i'm catching trout so yeah the sun's getting up there pretty good anyway you guys things are going pretty good here i'm just throwing a little jerk shad um actually the tail got bit off of it but it's weedless got a one eighth ounce weight on it and uh it's one of those twist lock yeah i got those twist lock hooks at walmart they're made by berkeley got them for a reasonable price all right so it's a three aught hook eighth ounce weight twist lock on the jerk shad so let's see if we can get back on them man oh i missed one he had it there he is there he is that does not feel like a trout i think i got me a hound fish on that one <laughs> it's some weird looking fish in it you got some killer teeth all right dude needle fish that's a needle fish yeah all right buddy see ya putting a little pro cure inshore scent on there make it a little stinky stuff oh there's stingray and i'm getting a bite oh i had one oh doggone it good old braided fishing line Look at that. What have I got me a mess? All right, quick update, guys. Salty Scales Apparel, 25% off from now until Christmas. A link in the description area. All right, so I just been out here three hours. Got two little trout and a hound fish and a lizard fish. <laughs> it's starting to cook hot, man. Woo, it is getting hot out here. All right, well. I'm just working these little pods of bait out here in the middle of the freaking flat. So that's all I know to do. Everything is super shallow. I'm in about a foot and a half of water though. That's plenty of water. All right, well, let's get back on it. There he is. There he is. We got him that time. We got him that time. That little trout ski. Oh, it was one came in and, and stole the, the fluke. One came in and grabbed the fluke right off the hook, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny get my hands wet gorgeous little trout all right buddy thanks yeah fish on there we go oh yeah we we got trout we got trout baby we got trout we got lots of trout plenty of trout all right, trout number four. See ya. All right. So the little, the little twist, little twist spring came off completely. I just kind of rigged this thing like a worm hook. It's working. I caught that one on the first cast with this crazy rig. There he is. Well, that's a good one. That's a better fish there. That's a better fish there. Solid baby. Well. No doubt about it, I found the trout, number five. See ya.
<laughs> we're having fun now <laughs> that first part of that morning was tough for me man i was complaining like crazy now i'm getting them every cast let's get back on it there, there he is oh man there he is <laughs> they are piled up in there man it's every every cast i'm getting them that's the smallest trout of the day right there thanks buddy there he is he's he's chasing it you get it that's a little fish man there he is another one every cast baby see ya there he is oh that's a better one that's a better one that's the biggest trout of the day probably right there that's a that's a head shaker and eh, not really i've caught one bigger net today we got him though see you little fella fish on another one see you man <laughs> Oh my god. It's it's all about catching the trout. Here's another good looking trout ski. See you little guy. Alright guys, we are making a short move. The trout bite was hot. It, we were getting them every cast, but Otis was getting them every cast too. We're gonna head to a different spot, see if we can find some different kind of fish. Fish on. Maybe a bonnet head. I don't know, bro. It's a red, man. Nice red. He hit the fluke. As soon as it hit the water, he grabbed it. Big old red fish. I'm, uh, it's a green and gray. Nice red. All right, bro. It was worth the trip. Got me some grass. Big old red. Man, that is a good one there. That is a good one. Oh, this net's about worthless. There we go. Come on, big guy. Yeah, buddy. Woo! About a seven pounder. Nice, man. There we go. All right, that guy back in the water. Nice red. Woo! Baby, he hammered that thing. Beautiful redfish, man. Gorgeous. Wow. This guy revived. There he goes. And he freaking took off. Whoa, he's between my legs. I don't know where he went. There he is. He's gone. He gone. Nice. Gee. All right, baby. Got me a big old freaking red fish <laughs> i think it shot out in front of my buddy's kayak it was shooting a big wake he was like what was that and he ran over into a school that looked like a school of mullet i cast it over there as soon as that fluke hit the water he grabbed it nice i didn't have my camera on until after i hooked him so wait baby big old red i didn't measure him he's probably 28 or 29 inches so we let's get back on it skinny water out here man foot foot and a half deep i got something working right here in front of me pretty good ways up there fish on i'm gonna trout size trout good trout nice trout 
All right, buddy, see ya. All right. So I'm putting Procure Inshore scent on this fluke this morning. This is my last fluke that I have this color. That's the color I've been catching them on. I think I've got some gray and blue with some metal fleck in it. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can get another one. Oh, two reds right in front of my yak, dude. Dang it. Two nice reds just swam right in front of me. Dude, I got a red right in front of me. Oh my God. Friggin' trout's after it now. He's 10 feet away from the kayak. Yeah, that's three of them in five minutes right here. Oh, got a red right here in front of me, dude. He's looking at it. Dang it. They're in here, man. That's the fourth one I've seen. These redfish are not spooky at all, dude. I mean, they've, they've looked at this fluke. They turn and look at it, but they're not hitting it. All right, so it's <laughs> pretty exciting. Caught a big redfish there. I have seen five redfish out here on the flats. Seeing some trout and stingrays. Redfish I saw, I just couldn't get them to hit it. I don't know if the camera picked it up or not. See, I've got polarized sunglasses on so I can see them. I don't have a polarized lens, but I just switched over to a Miridine. I've been throwing a fluke for the longest time. I pitched that fluke in front of like three of those redfish. They just turned their nose up at it, which is weird because I caught that big redfish on a fluke. But I'm switching over to a Miridine, see if we can't get them interested in that if I see some more. I'm just looking to sight cast something right now. I mean, I, I caught that big redfish up there, and then I saw five of them coming all the way through here. So I'm just kind of, kind of retracking my trail here. See if we can come across some more. I'll sight cast them if I see them. I'll tell you what, guys, the Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120 will cruise right through some really skinny water i mean i've been fishing in, in water this morning about a foot deep like all morning long and this electric motor is going right through here no problem i'm just standing up and i'm, I'm sight fishing here this remote control i'm just controlling everything no problem i mean this is perfect for this kind of fishing oh got a snook right here little bitty snook was laying right there in that little sandy spot and he spooked as soon as I casted it I need a snook so I get a slam Let's see if we can get this big blue crab right here I think the shadow of the kayak is probably gonna make him freak out but let's see what happens here spot lock yep there he goes oh that was a big red fish right there that was a big red fish right there I'm casting back there and he was sitting right there in front of the kayak. Doggone it. Doggone it. Oh, big red right in front of the kayak. Right in front of the yak. Oh, baby. That was a good one. There he is. There we, that's a good one. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Big old trout. Big old trout. All right, man, I was getting hit like crazy over there. Every time I'd cast over there, I was getting hit. Little fish, finally got hooked up with a good one there. All right, buddy, thanks for the catch. See ya. Nice. Fish on, fish on. Dude, he didn't even know he was hooked. Oh, 
Quit getting the trout again. Another nice little trout. Fish on. Another trout. He's on the trout, bait. And we're catching again. Get a little trouty. Thanks, buddy. See ya. There he is. There we go. Fish on. <laughs> Tearing them up, baby. Beautiful trout, man. See you, buddy. All right, give you guys a little bit of an update. Me and Otis took a break, probably about an hour. We just sat around talking, and uh, we decided to come out here and see if we could catch some trout. I got three in a row right here. I finally found a little spot where they're hanging out. So see if we can get another one, baby. All right. I'm still throwing these jerk shad fluke looking things. This one's a gray and pearl. It's got some blue flecks in it. And uh, they're getting all over that thing, putting a little bit of Procure inshore scent on there. Dude, like 20 sheep said there was a redfish right there. He's about that big, about 24, 25 inches. Woo, I can tell why you guys love to chase those redfish on the flats. That was so cool seeing those big bruisers cruising right in front of the kayak. And I got a report here, you guys. The Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120 did an amazing job out there in that shallow water. I fished all day long in shallow water. You saw all of those, all the grass out there in that clear water. I was standing up using the remote control, sight fishing for redfish, 10 inches to like three feet deep of water all day long. Now, periodically, I would hit a shallow spot. I'd have to pop the motor up and either paddle out or push pole, but it wasn't very often. The majority of time, I was running the electric motor, you guys. Now, my buddy, he's he's got the Hobie, right? And he's always talking about how awesome that Hobie is that he can go through super shallow water. Well, it's really not that often that you're gonna have to go through eight inches or 10 inches of water, right? When you're out there fishing. You, I mean, you're not gonna be catching anything in eight inches of water anyway. You shouldn't even be fishing there if you're fishing in eight inches of water, right? But every kayak has its pros and cons, right? Yeah, the Hobie may be able to go through really super shallow water, but you know what? He can't stand up and fish for four hours straight running a remote control sight casting redfish or sight casting any type of fish, right? So there's pros and cons to every kayak. So that's definitely a pro for the Old Town Sportsman Autopilot is it will operate just fine in shallow conditions like that and you can stand up and run the remote control while you sight fish. All right, look, I had a great time out there sight casting on redfish, caught a big redfish and a bunch of trout. We could have caught trout for hours, you guys. Once you would get on the trout bite, you could just stay there. Once you found where they were at, you could just stay there and catch them one right after another. So anyway, thanks for coming along for this adventure. Thumbs up for appreciated. Get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya.